Hey everybody, welcome to Kel's Kitchen. It is fall and we are celebrating with apple crisp. So excited to do this. Uh, we are gonna use our new enameled cast iron. So there's three pieces in our new line. Uh, we have the one quart, this two quart here that you see, and, and a Dutch oven, which is honestly a heritage piece. You're gonna pass that down for generations. Love the color, beautiful to take to your table. And the white enameled interior allows you to see what you're cooking. So if you've ever been kind of nervous with cast iron, which I was because I never grew up with it, this is a great way to start um, with this nonstick, very easy to clean interior. So I'm gonna put that down. We're gonna get moving to make this quickly. Uh, Nathan, why don't you take our butter and put it in there for the microwave? In about, um, what do you think? Like 20 seconds, okay? You can take the, use this to scrape that off. Excellent. And we are going to get going on some cracker crumbs. All right. I've got four uh, cracker crumbs started. I've got four more here, just graham cracker crumbs. These are the manual food processor. This has become a really favorite tool of mine. get out some of that energy and tension that you've had during the work day you know <laughs> it's kind of like the food shopper you want to do some yeah did you have tension today yes all right here let me get this out of your way go for it all right keep going now that looks pretty good looks like we have some there that maybe got a little off center but that's okay that to our crumble mixture. That little butter that's still floating in there will melt in the rest of the heat, so we'll get, let that sit. Apple peeler core slicer time, ready? All right, so love this tool. And in a fall season, of course, we just went apple picking. And so we have some beautiful apples from the orchard and we wanna make sure that we do a lot of cooking and we don't have to spend all of our time with dealing with the actual apples. So our apple peeler core slicer you can do a couple of things. It will do all three. There's also a little tool that comes with it that will let the slicer go down. So you don't have to core it. You could just have it peel, okay? Um, and I'll turn this a little bit. So as I press the lever back here, you're gonna pull back on the little, I don't know what you would call that. What would you call that? Drum, stick, just stick, yeah. And then the apple's gonna go on here. This side here can adjust thicker or thinner um, to peel the apple, and as it goes through here, it's gonna core and slice it. All right, so we're gonna pull that back. We've now prepped it for our first apple. Apple goes right on that fork. Does that work, fork, yeah, okay. And we're going to go ahead and release this little lever here, and it makes a little snap sound, so don't jump like I did. All right. Then we're going to just, you don't want to go slow. I mean, things will just get kind of stuck there. It's just a nice quick action. You don't have to be worried or timid about it. And we just rotate. Awesome. All right. Now, don't throw out your peels. I know kids will eat them. <laughs> I'll give that to him. Um, you can also, I know people who make their own potpourri uh, with their stems. So, you know, reuse, recycle, all that good stuff that people say these days. All right. Pull this back again. We got some stuff there. Now, the peelers, this, uh, the metal part of this attachment does come separate from the stand. I just like the stand because I don't have a counter to which I can clamp the unit. Okay. So the stand, the stand is pretty too, so it's a bonus. All right, we'll do one more, and then do you want to try one? Okay. So we're just gonna stick it on there, put up the peeler. And there's the next one. I'm gonna make no, uh, what did I say? Make work no time at all, something like that, they're just saying. All right, so we've got two. You keep going with that, and I'll help you if you want it, okay? 
So you grab one. This is Nathan's first time ever being introduced to an apple peeler core slicer. So that's perfect. So for review, you're going to press this lever all the way down. You're going to pull this out, right? Pull down your peeler, insert apple onto the fork. There you go. In the meantime, yep, push it all the way on. There you go, that's good. And we're going to do some more stuff over here. We've got a half a cup of oats and we're gonna get a half a cup of flour. So I'll do that. There you go. Put your hand right through here just to hold it steady is what I do. And so press down with your hand, yeah. There you go. Come on, you can press. <laughs> See how easy it is? You just gotta keep going. All the way through that hole. All the way through, all the way through. There you go. Perfect. All right, take it off. And what did I say? Half a cup of flour? I better check. So half a cup of flour, yep. You keep going what you're doing, and I'll do what I'm doing. So half a cup of flour. I'm gonna walk around you here. Put that in with our oats. We got quick cooking oats. All right, so half a cup of oats, half a cup of flour. We have one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. And guys, we're going, we're gonna have a Karinji cinnamon in our line come the middle of October. Um, and you are going to definitely wanna try that Karinji cinnamon. It's a premium, premium um, cinnamon from Indonesia. And it's just super powerful. It can make all your holiday baking delicious there you go hold it steady there you go <laughs> you're letting it get away from you <laughs> all right so we're gonna do butter now we're gonna add that butter in here how you doing good over there and what else do we need with apples cinnamon and what else? brown sugar yes brown sugar you're right i mean apples and sugar like, yeah Yes, please. I'm going to bring this closer to me. Do you want to stir this for me while I... Oh, are you done? Yeah, two more. Two more. Okay. You get that a good stir for me in our classic batter bowl. And I will just get these done. And we'll cut them. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Make you hungry? Yes. All right. There we go. Next one done. Oh my God, look, I got a bracelet for a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's another one. No time at all. Where'd that other one go? Ah! Ta da! All right. Take that one off. Put this one on. You know what? We could make like apple pie. When we get this thing out, we should make everything apple. <laughs> like I said, you can eat it. All right. And then flip up the peeler. Is it all good and stirred? Mm. All right. And you know what? Don't just think apples. I love tools that are multi-use. Why not do your potato, bake it, separate them, bake it, and put some spice on that and serve that as a side. Great idea. Absolutely will take care of your potatoes for you too. All right, so Mr. Sims, let's take our enamel baker. Make some room here and start spreading out our apples. This is going to be so quick. While you do that, I'm going to set the oven to 350. And here's some more. They're going to have lots, so they're not going to, they don't have to be perfect. Just throw them in. That's one thing I'm big about in cooking, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just as long as you enjoy the taste and you had fun doing it, we cook a lot to music, don't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. And you know what? If you have, if you don't have a peeler and you're doing it by hand, don't worry about a little skin in your, in your apple crisp. It too is just going to add some dimension, add some uh, texture. Isn't that what we say? Yeah. Texture's good. There we go. Yeah. Looks great. All right. So... Let the camera guy get a look at that. The only other thing we need to add into our 
mixture here is the graham crackers. They're sitting here in our bowl. Manual food processor bowl, yep, great, thank you. Stirring that up. Use those muscles. Perfect, that looks wonderful. And we are gonna let this go right all over top. And we're gonna just, we'll take a quick pause as we put this in the oven so that when, when you come back, when we come back, we'll be ready to pull it out. All right, look at this. Mm -hmm. Crumble's the best part. Oh yeah. Don't you think the crumble matters? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's, mm. let's make sure we cover all the apples. We'll set the rest in here and just fan it out. Don't get over here. <laughs> yeah, that's good, good eyes. All right, guys. All right, so we're gonna take a quick break and we will be back after these messages. All right, so our apple crisp has been in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes or so, and it's time to take it out and dish it up. So let's take a look. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Mm. Can you grab a trivet? Perfect. Can lay that out for me. Wonderful. Look at this. All right. These oven minute oven mitts are amazing too. All right. So let's grab a plate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> are you gonna be okay? After I have a so. Mmm. Look at that. I'm just going to put some here so we can kind of see it. Look at that. And that's what it looks like in the dish, guys. Apple crisp, half an hour, made simple by the apple peeler core slicer. Definitely something to have for your entire fall and winter holidays. All right, thanks again for coming to Kale's Kitchen. We'll see you soon.